After setting the recording device, you have to set the recording channels. There are two options for recording channels, mono and stereo. Though you see only the mono option here, my Samson mic only supports mono recording. For voiceover, mono is okay, and you should use mono for voice recording. However, some microphones support stereo recording, and I will briefly show it. I will switch to the built-in microphone, which supports stereo recording. Stereo lets you add separate experiences on the left and right sides of the headphone. If I record with these settings, you will see two waveforms in the track. I will discuss later in detail what a track and waveform are, but there you can see two blue regions. In a mono recording, you get only one of these. It is possible to split a stereo track into two mono tracks. In advanced DAWs, you can add different effects on the left and right channels. Audacity is a simple DAW that lacks some of these features. But still, you can add different effects on mono tracks and later join these as stereo. In the beginning, you do not have to worry about these things. I am showing these to give you an idea of the possibilities. So if the question is, which kind of recording channel should we set for voice recording? The answer will be mono, and it is as simple as that. I will quickly record a mono track to show you how it looks. You can now see only one waveform is appearing. If I go to the track information panel, you will see that the split stereo track option is disabled. All the recordings for this course will be on mono most of the time. If I use stereo recording, I will clearly mention that.